Hi guys, I'm Anna Victoria, creator of the Fit Body app. Thank you for joining me at Women's Health Live's virtual event. I am going to be taking you through a booty build and shred workout from my Fit Body app. We're working out at home, so you might see our gold retriever Rigatoni come into the workout with us sometimes. And I have my husband Luca here with me as well. Hi. And he is going to be doing the more difficult version of this workout. I am going to be doing the modified version because I am 21 weeks pregnant. So if you are a beginner or you are um, pregnant, then you can follow my lead. If you're a bit more advanced, <laughs> follow Luca's lead. So the main difference is that I'm going to be doing all low impact, so no jumping moves, and he's gonna have those killer jumping moves. So, all right, how the workout is going to be structured is there's gonna be three circuits, and we're gonna repeat them three times. Each circuit takes about 10 minutes, so that's 30 minutes total. And we're gonna do a quick glute warm up to get started and a light cool down at the end. So, all right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we're gonna start with some glute activation warm ups. I'm gonna be doing a resistance band version. He's gonna be doing a no resistance band version. So I'm going to be doing clamshells and lateral walks. He's going to be doing donkey kicks and fire hydrants, all right? So you're gonna be doing 10 reps each side for each move. I'm gonna be doing 10 reps as well. So let's start with the clamshells. So you're going to put the resistance band around your knees. And what you're going to do is lay on your side and you want to be, <laughs> Rigatoni really wants to be part of the workout. So you're gonna raise that leg right here and I want you to really focus on engaging your glute medius, okay? So 10 reps on each side. And for Luca doing the donkey kicks, it's really important that when he's raising that back leg, it's not about raising it as high as you can go, it's just raising it enough to really feel it in your glutes, okay? Once you do the 10 on this side, Go ahead and do 10 on the other side. Remember to breathe. All right. And now for the lateral walks, you're going to do 20 total. So 10 on each side. But I want to point out for Luca really quick. So it's really important with both the donkey kicks and the fire hydrants to keep your upper body stable. Okay. So can you swing a bit, Luca? Show them what not to do. Okay. So that's what you don't want to do because you're using the momentum of your body to raise your leg, that's not engaging your glutes properly, okay? So just raise up to the side, have this side of your body, kind of be like there's a wall there and you can't sink into it, all right? Now, for the lateral walks, you're just gonna be stepping side to side. You're in like a three quarter inch squat, all right? 20 total. And um, let me show you from the front, Really important to not let this knee right here cave in. That's going to cause pain with your knees and you're not gonna be engaging your glutes. So really be sure to keep your knee in line with your toes, all right? Transition to the other leg and then go back. All right, also be sure to keep your core tight. All right, so that is your warm up. You should be feeling your glutes already getting on fire a bit. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, um, Luca is going to be grabbing his weights. I'm going to be doing the non-weighted version. And we're going to be doing a squat with a lunge. You're going to be doing five reps each on each side. So, you ready? ready I'm go. also going to be doing a modified version as far as I'm doing sumo squats. Because with my prego belly, I can't do regular stance squats right now. Okay. One. And then you're going to lunge forward and go back. <laughs> and one. All right. So you're doing that five times. Here's two. Bring it, Tony. Can you go to your bed? Go to your bed, honey. Go to your bed. Come on. Go to your bed. Good boy. Go to bed, all right, this is round two. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Three. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you stand. This is four. Almost done. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you stand. Last one. I make it to me. 
<laughs> this is real life. This is what working out at home is all about these days. <laughs> With all the distractions, kids and pets. <laughs> all right, so now, <laughs> now we are going to be doing squat pulses. So what I really want you to focus on here is to do a slow and controlled movement. <sighs> so you're going to go down to a squat. Hey, you got weights. <laughs> So, this is going to be a slow and controlled movement, 12 reps, 1, go slow, 2, you're going a bit too fast, 3, 4, really feel it in your glutes, okay, 5, 6, 7, halfway done, 8, 9, 10, 2 more, 11, and 12, oh my goodness, feeling that, okay, now, I'm doing the modified version, so I'm going to be doing lunge pulses. He is going, going to be doing stationary jumping lunges. So we'll go here to the side. Five reps on each side for me, eight reps on each side for Luca. Slow and controlled. Two, three, keep that chest up. Four, five, switch sides. Keep that knee in line with your toe. Don't let it cave in. Keep that core tight. Four, five. Ooh. All right, that was one round of the first circuit. We're gonna do that two more times. Take a quick 30 second breather. Grab a drink of water. All right, our 30 seconds are up. Squat and lunge, remember five reps each on each side. Grab your weights or do body weight. Ready, inhale as you squat down, exhale as you stand. Squat, when you stand, really engage your core. Here's three. Remember when you lunge, keep that knee in line with your toes. Don't let it cave in. Four. Last one. All right, squat pulses. Remember. Slow and controlled, 12 reps, one, two, three, four. Really use your inner thighs, your glutes, your quads. Oh man. Oh. Ooh. 10, 11, 12. All right, lunge pulse. If you're doing my side, jumping lunge for Luca. Let's face forward. Five reps for me, eight reps for Luca but slow and controlled. Push up through that heel. All right, switch sides. And remember, do not let that knee cave in. All right, one more round and you're done with circuit one. 30 second rest. Okay, one more circuit. Squat and lunge. Ready? Five each side. Get the weights. You got weights, yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One. One. 
One. Here's two. Keep that core tight. Push up through that heel. Two. Here's three. Two more. You should be feeling it in your quads. Last one. Remember to breathe. Ah, uh -uh, one more. I got it. <laughs> All right, squat pulse. Get right in it. All right, 12 reps. Slow and controlled. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. It's okay if you need a breather. Seven, eight, nine. Oh man, 10, 11. 12, all right, lunge pulse or jumping lunge. Ready? Keep that knee in line. One, two, three, four, five. One, switch sides. Two, three, four, five. Oh man. Oh. you're doing it right. <laughs> All right guys, that is circuit one. Two more to go. Take 60 seconds. Rest. Grab a drink. And don't forget to breathe. All right, moving on to circuit two. Your three moves are going to be a glute bridge, a fire hydrant, and either a squat pulse or a squat jump. <laughs> and since I'm pregnant, I'm not gonna be doing the glute bridge on the ground. I'm gonna bring a chair over here. Luca will be doing it on the ground. You can choose whichever is most comfortable for you. And to give you some extra burn in these moves, I want you to hold the last rep for 10 seconds, all right? So we are doing 12 glute bridges. If you are on a platform, you wanna be um, have your shoulder blades be right along the edge. Really important with your glute bridges is that you don't wanna be up here raising up as high as you can, okay? This is not how to do a glute bridge. All this is doing is engaging my lower back, okay? So bring those shoulder blades down, Rotate that pelvis in, okay? You wanna to try to shorten the space between your pelvis and your rib cage. All right, 12 reps, ready? One. Two. Do you see that here? I'm just internally rotating my pelvis. Three. Four. Same thing with Luca, let's take a look at his form. He's not overextending, he's only raising as high as he needs to internally rotate his pelvis and get that glute engagement. Oh, eight, nine, inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up, 11, and 12, hold it, 10, nine, eight, touch those glutes, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right. Now we are moving on to fire hydrants. Whew. So move this up a bit. Now, as I explained earlier on in the warm up, you do not want to be shifting into the opposite side. Try to keep your body as stable as you can. Imagine that you have a wall right here. Whew. 10 reps each side. Let's start with the left. All right. One, two, keep going. Another really important thing is that your back is flat. So you do not want to have an arch like this, okay? Bring your core in, 
Hi, Rigatoni. <laughs> Keep that core tight, okay? 10 on each side. Now switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We didn't hold it on the other side. Let's do the other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hey, three, two, one. I caught Luca tapping out early. All right, now, last move of this circuit. The low impact version will be a squat pulse. Luca's is gonna be a squat jump. All right, I'm gonna be doing eight reps. He's gonna be doing five. Ready? One, two, three. Keep your core tight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are quick, nice, and easy. All right, 30 seconds rest. We're gonna repeat that two more times. All right, time for round two of circuit two. So 12 glute bridges, either on a platform or on the ground. 12 reps and we're holding it at the end. One, remember, internally rotate that pelvis. Two, three, inhale as you go down. Exhale as you go up. Five, six, Seven, really squeeze those glutes. Nine, 10, look at one spot. Last one, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now fire hydrants. Here, let's go from the side because I want to show them your back. So again, not an arch in your back, back flat, okay? One, two, three, ten on each side, four, five. Keep going. It's not about raising your leg as high as it can go. Only raise it enough to really feel that glute engagement, all right? Nine, ten. Switch sides. Oh, wait, we got to hold it. You guys are getting off easy. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side. 10, 9, 8, 7. Slow it down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. 10, Nine, eight, use this moment to adjust yourself, to, to think, am I sinking to the other side? Readjust, is my core engaged? Readjust, am I feeling it in my glutes? Readjust, all right. Now, squat pulses or squat jumps, eight reps or five, ready. One, push up through your heels, two, three, keep your core tight, four, five, chest up, six, seven, and eight. All right, 30 seconds rest. One more time. We are officially halfway through the workout. Whew. Take a quick breath. Get a drink of water. All right, last round of this circuit. 12 glute bridges. Uh, Reggie Tony really wants to be a part of our workout today. <laughs> All right, 
Ready? You're going to hold the last rep. Look at one spot. Keep your chin tucked. One. Not for me, chin tucked. Two. No, you're fine. Three. Four. Really squeeze those glutes. I want you to pause for a brief moment at the peak. Seven. Eight. Push through those heels. Nine. Ten. Two more. And we're holding. One. Two. Hold it. Ten. This is the last one. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Touch those glutes. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job, guys. All right. Fire hydrants. Last ones. We're going to make them count. All right. Start on the left side. Back flat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Remember, raise only as high as you need to feel your glute engage. Don't swing. Don't use the momentum of your body. Only use your glutes. Switch. Oh, hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Other side. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Keep your core tight. Bring your core in. Six. Good job. No shifting into the other side. Great job. Once you get to ten, hold it. Ready? Ten. Nine. Feel that glute. Keep your core tight. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. All right. Last move of circuit two. Let's do it, guys. Squat pulses or squat jumps. Ready? One, two, three. Keep that core tight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew! That wasn't too bad. Come on. Yeah. He's doing all the Let's jumping stop. moves. So, all right, 60 second break, and then our last booty circuit of the day. All right, guys, it is time for our last circuit, and we are going to be using chairs for this one. So we are going to be doing a slightly different version of the first move. He's going to be doing stiff leg deadlifts. I'm going to be doing good mornings. Then we're both going to be doing Bulgarian squats, and then he's going to do a jumping move at the end, and I'll do the modified version. So starting off, good morning. So what that is going to look like is you're going to have your hands right here. Don't put them behind your neck because you never want to pull on your neck, so just out to the side. Luca's going to be doing stiff leg deadlifts. Let's go to the side. And really important for this move, it is all about the hip hinge, okay? So it's not about just bending over. It is about hinging your hips, externally rotating your pelvis, okay? Luca is going to be dropping that weight. I'm going to have my hands up at my head, just like this. Stop when your back is at about parallel. We're doing 12 reps. All right, ready? Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you stand. Inhale, keep your core tight, push up through your heels, all right? So you're going to be feeling this in your hamstrings, and then when you push up, you're going to be feeling it in your glutes. There's four. Really important for Luca is if, you're ha if you have weights, when you are holding those weights, you need to be dragging them along your shins, okay? You do not want them to be out here. That is going to mess up your center of gravity, and you're going to be engaging your back. So if these hurt your back at all, you're, you probably do not have the dumbbells at your shins. Then you push up and squeeze. Use your posterior chain, your glutes, and your hamstrings, all right? Okay, let me do one more. Keep your core tight. All right, now for Bulgarian squats. So you're going to put your foot on a platform behind you, okay? Need a little bit of balance. Eight reps each side. Ready? You're supposed to have weights for this one. I'll, I'll give you a pass okay. for, for this set. 
drop that back knee, push up through that front heel. Eight each side. There's three, keep that chest up. Four, five, keep that knee in line with your toes. Do not let it cave in, okay? One more. All right, switch sides. Whew. All right, remember this is not about shifting forward, it's about dropping that back knee. Ready? One, two, inhale as you go down, exhale as you stand. Good job. Five, three more. Seven, and eight. All right. Now, Luke is going to be doing jump turns. Four each way. I'm going to be doing crab walks, but 12 total. Ready? Ready? Don't forget to switch sides if you're doing this one, because you want to be working this side of your body as much as you're working this side, okay? Here are your crab walks. You're just pivoting to the side. Turn around. Okay, one more. All right. Almost done. <laughs> okay, that was one round of your third circuit. Rest 30 seconds. We're gonna do that two more times and you guys are all done. All right, so second round, we're gonna move the chairs so that you guys can see our um, form from the side. All right, so let's start with the good mornings or the stiff leg deadlift. Remember, this is about the hip hinge, okay? Ready? Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale and push up through your heels, two. Three. I want to show you on Lucas, it's not about dropping your back first and then hinging. You want your, almost there to be like a plank of wood on your back and with your hips, okay? So everything should be going in unison. Inhale, exhale, keep your core tight, squeeze those glutes, hamstrings. I'll do one more. Inhale. Exhale. I also have a slightly wider stance again because I'm pregnant, so just keep that in mind when you're doing the move. All right. Bulgarian squats. So, foot, you can have your, your foot either completely flat like this, which is more difficult, or you can have it resting on it like that. Ready? Eight reps each side. One, two. Slow down. I want you to engage that glute. Three, pause the peak. Four, drop that back knee. Five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides. And I wanna show you with Luca really quick. He has the weights down, which you can do, or you can have them up. Go ahead, eight reps each side. Or you can have them up at your shoulders. If they are down, that is a little bit more difficult because it is pulling you down. Um, if you have them up at your shoulders, that will make it a little bit easier to keep your back up. So you can choose and see if you have trouble with keeping your back up, then bring them up at your shoulders, okay? All right. Now, crab walks, jump turns, 12 total crab steps for each side, eight total jumps. Ready? For the crab walks, you're maintaining that lowered squat position, okay? Keep that core tight. All right, okay.
you guys, 30 more seconds rest, and it is our last round. You guys are killing it. Take a deep breath, grab a drink of water. All right, ready? Doing 12 good mornings or 12 stiff leg deadlifts. All right, hinge those hips. If you don't know how to do that, imagine that you're pointing your booty to the wall behind you. One. Two, really squeeze. Three. Four. Five, slow and controlled, especially as you stand, okay? Six, halfway done, seven, eight, nine, two more, ten, oh, one more, <laughs> and twelve. Squeeze, are you squeeze, hold it, hold it. Feel those hamstrings, hey, 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 come on. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings, squeeze that core. <sighs> All right, Bulgarian squats. <sighs> All right, drop that back knee, eight reps each side. The lower you go, of course, the harder it is. Only go as low as you can. <sighs> Push up through that front heel. You're really gonna be feeling it in that glute on the side where your leg is in front. I think two more. All right. Other side. A little bit of balance. Okay. Stabilize. Make these count. Three, four, five, Six, only two more. Seven and eight. Good job, guys. All right, let's power through. 12 crab walks or eight jump turns. Ready? Keep the tension during these crab walks. Okay, only stand up if you need to turn around. Okay. You guys are doing great. This is a killer booty workout. easy nor did you guys so great job you followed Luca's or my lead Whew. all right we're gonna do a quick cool down a light stretch let's focus on our breathing Whew. try not to breathe up into your chest if you can it's a little hard right now focus on breathing into your diaphragm so Make your belly big. Exhale, make it flat. Slow your breathing. All right, let's do a light stretch. Into the other leg. I'm kind of out balance. <laughs> balance. All right, stretch your quads. Slow down your breathing. I like Switch it. sides. Do you need me for balance? Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Look at one spot on the ground that'll help you with your balance. All right, if you have a partner, then I want you to do this to stretch your glutes. Both of you squat back like this. If you don't have a partner, just hold on to something so that you can squat back. Switch sides. Get your inner thighs. Try not to let your back round over. 
Go to side to side. Get some hamstring stretch in there too. All right, let's stretch our hip flexors, but one thing that I want to point out is you see people doing this a lot and you see them lunging forward. That is not necessary. All that you want to do is slightly internally rotate your pelvis and feel that pull, okay? You don't need to shift forward with your knee. Switch sides so you can see a bit better right here. See, I'm tucking my booty under and I'm really feeling that stretch on both my quad and my hip flexor. That was your booty build and shred workout. Great job to you guys. Grab a quick drink because in 15 minutes, I'm going to be live answering your questions and doing a Q&A with Women's Health. And also, if you want more workouts like this, I'm offering five weeks free to my Fit Body app due to the current situation we're on so that you can have access to workouts at home. So if you would like to redeem your five weeks free, go to fitbodyapp.com and then choose the one month membership and at checkout enter code WH live. And that is going to give you a seven day free trial plus your first 30 days free. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget there's a whole schedule of live workouts with women's health that you can do. And don't forget to post your sweaty selfie in the WH get fit done <laughs> Facebook group. And thanks again guys so much for joining me. You can follow me, find more of my workouts at Ann Victoria on Instagram or in my Fit Body app. And I will see you guys in 15 minutes for the live Q&A.